Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin and today we are going to be doing your 2022 forecast. We're going to find out what's coming towards you, what you can expect, what you need to know. So I saved the best for last. <laughs> You're the last one I'm doing. So let's see what's going on. Oh, we got three. Okay. So let's see what's going on for us, what we can expect, what the cards want to say, Sagittarius. So I also want to say I am doing a contest on this annual read. So if you like my style, if you like this reading, I'll be giving away a few of them on January 2nd, so tomorrow. So if you like this video, so like, comment, subscribe, typical YouTube style, we'll get you entered into the contest and I'll be announcing the winners tomorrow, uh, January 2nd. So if you've seen this after that, my apologies, the contest has expired <laughs> and the announcement has already come out. So... Let's get the cards out. Let's talk about what's going on here for you, Sag. In 2021, the overall vibe, theme, and energy was come to the edge, card number 36. So risks were taking, changes. Um, I feel like um, someone was asking you to take a risk, or maybe you were just trying to take a risk on your own. So, Or you were just um, taking things to the limits. Whatever you were working on, you were... You weren't um, playing it safe. You were a risk taker, I feel like, uh, Sagittarius. And let's find out if it's going to pay off. So in 2022, the overall vibe and theme and energy is card number 21, clean it up. And card number 24, time for a nap. So I feel like maybe with this risk taking and with what you were doing in 2021, you need a little bit of a break. You need to take a step back. Whoa, we got a lot of cards here. It's way more than normal, but we're going to take them. All right. So I feel like you need to take a step back. You need to take some rest. You might be experiencing a little bit of burnout. So the cards are really telling you just to clean it up. Pay attention to the little details. Pay attention to the small things because the small things absolutely matter. So let's find out what this is. And I feel like you need to take a rest and also take a nap. I'm really being drawn to that moon and the moon is about intuition. So really trust your intuition to guide you, Sag. Here's a sign of spirituality, you know, philosophy. You can definitely connect to those higher selves and those higher powers. So take that advantage this year. So let's talk about career. So the wheel of fortune in reverse. So um, an unexpected setback. Wheel of fortune is about misfortune, um, the ups and downs of life. So let's find out what that doesn't really sound that good for us. So let's find out what that means. We'll get a little bit of detail. Um, so what I do is I go through the cards individually. These are outcomes. These are our months. This is our advice and solution. And then if there's anything we need clarity on, we'll get the clarity and dig a little deeper. So let's talk about that because I don't like the sounds of that. And I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> so we will find out what that is about. Get some clarity so that we can get a little precaution here and avoid this misfortune. But as far as finances outlook, it's the eight of wands, which is... Um, like good news <laughs> very conflicting energies here which is really interesting it's like it's also travel it's also speed it's also like positive resolutions communication a lot of forward movement so it's really interesting um those they absolutely conflict it's like we got the card of success and forward movement then we got the card of bad luck and karma so we'll find out what the hell this is and what the message is here for us Saji. Um, but first let's get into our love outlook which is wow the six of swords so the six of swords is first of all it's like um the six of swords is my test card so my spirituality test so what you've been going through in love and what you've been experiencing has absolutely been a test a soul's path a soul journey and it's the six of swords means that it's rocky so it has not been the best but the beautiful thing about this is it's about to go forward you've passed the test so whatever it is that you needed to work on or whatever it is that you needed to do that was blocking love, you're now moving forward and it's arriving at the perfect time. So I feel like this year is a big year for love. It's a big year for a transition as far as your love goes and we'll absolutely find out more about that too. Now, as far as your family and friends, we have the emperor in reverse. So I feel like you feel like maybe things are out of your control maybe people are doing things that you don't like maybe people are acting in ways that are affecting you um, but there's nothing that you can do about it um, it's also a sign of um, 
somebody is being stubborn somebody is, might be also being selfish so whether that's you or them Sag you don't know again we're gonna get some clarity and find out some of these readings I don't need any and then look at you I need it all baby so we'll get some clarity find out but it sounds like something is out of your control so I feel like somebody did something or might be doing something there's some kind of conflict but somebody is being selfish and somebody is being greedy so we'll find out what that is um, and as far as your spirituality outlook for 2022, we have the Page of Wands. So a huge connection to your spirituality, huge improvement, you know, um, youthful curiosity, passion, messages, uh, messages. So you could be getting messages and downloads, you know, from your higher self um, and really honing in on this aspect of yourself, which could be time for a nap. Because when you get those downloads, um, you know, it's time to silence your mind, close your mind not close your mind, silence your minds and close off um, external sources, you know, so that you can really focus because I feel like there's some detail that you need to get to the bottom of. And I feel like the message there is your intuition knows what that is. So make sure that you're listening to your intuition throughout 2022 so that you can understand that. All right, so let's get into the months. And we'll find out what all that is. So from January to March, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, um... The King of Pentacles in Reverse Sag is kind of greedy. So maybe something's not going right here and it's really stressing you out and you're overemphasizing um, the material aspect of your life. You're overthinking about money. You're thinking about the finances. You're thinking about the riches. You're just um, not perfectly balancing the spiritual aspect of things along with the material aspect. And that could be because this Wheel of Fortune is stressing you out. So we'll find out what that's about. But I feel like there's a big, big emphasis here on, um, on money. But money not money is stressing you out <laughs> and there's a big focus on that so we're gonna find out what that's all about and why um and then so for mar or a uh, sorry excuse me that was january to march this is april to june if i get the months wrong i apologize i should have brought it like little nope um january february march april may june <laughs> is the four of wands in reverse um and the four of wands in reverse so um with this job issue, there could be problems with the family life, with your with your family. Um, but the Four of Wands is also like um, it's which it's like the it's like the clean it up, not paying attention to the small details, not paying attention to those fine details. So it's good to look at things at the bigger picture, but don't forget the small things. Um, it is feel it is a lack of harmony. So I do feel like this issue with the career might be causing a lack of harmony with your family and with your friends and we'll we'll learn more about that as we go um and then as we move forward so july august and september is the ace of wands and i cannot help but notice how we have a wand a wand and a wand so a lot of fire like um you're coming up here a lot of fire a lot of um a lot of in, in you know spirit in tarot really wands are about spirituality your connection to your spirit self and look at all the wands here as well so definitely a lot of spiritual growth and improvement as, as you're going through some of these transitions but i do feel like there's a little rockiness with your home and your family here and i do feel like it's related so then we have the ace of wands for july august and september but it's in reverse so the ace of wands in reverse is um again needing rest um needing to take a step back needing to um, silence your mind so that you don't get burnt out so this might be stressing you out and it might get you a little burnt out and a little, a little tired you might be overextending yourself and you start to feel that in july to september um so it's just a message here that if you're fe and that's why i think that's why it keeps coming up make sure that you take the time for yourself if this career if this issue is really stressing you out take the time to nurture yourself sag because um I know for me, I can just keep going and going and going. And then all of a sudden I'm just exhausted and I get sick. Um, when I get stressed out, I get sick. So I'm just make sure that um, you're taking the time to nurture yourself. You're keeping your supplements up. You're keeping your health up as you're going through this. Because I do feel like there's a little bit of um, strife here and it stresses you out. Um, and then we have the Queen of Wands. So this is how you end the year, which is October, November, December. And every time I see this, sometimes I notice it, sometimes I don't. But see that cat? This is divinely guided, Sag. This is a, something you've been supposed to be going through. She is determined. She is a power. She rises and barrels through all these obstacles and gets victory. She's very passionate. She's very confident, right? So I feel like you end the year beautifully with a lot of passion and a lot of success. 
but it is a little bit of a conflict here with the family and we kind of see it <laughs> um so there's definitely conflicting energies i feel like there's a lot of success but there's also a lot of conflict we'll find out but as far as what your biggest obstacle is going to be is the seven of wands so i feel like um sorry i'm trying to show you the card seven of wands so your obstacle is like um, moving forward through those times. So don't, if there's a tough time, you just keep moving forward. So I feel like you're, I feel like there's going to be a lot of obstacles this year, Sag. Um, those are those wands coming at you. It's like you overcoming these obstacles, barreling through this. So your biggest, um, and okay. The biggest, and how do I say that? Cause I don't want to like, as you're coming through these obstacles, especially if they're your people and your friends and your family, um, your reaction to these obstacles, your communication style with these obstacles, you know, we're fire. So we're a little bit passionate. I'm a blunt side. You had to say it like it is right. Um, so I think feel like our biggest obstacle is going to be clear communication, not getting too defensive, paying attention to those small things. Um, and the solution here, they give us a lot is the queen of, or the king of swords the lovers and the three of wands in reverse. So just, wow. So what this is, the solution is, um, I'm getting so many different messages by looking at these three cards. Um, first of all, the, the king of swords is the only king in the deck facing forward, right? He faces his challenges head on. He raises his swords. He takes pride in his, in his um, intelligence and in his analytical abilities and his logic um, in his common sense, in his ability to overcome, and he tackles all of those obstacles with success, right? So it's going to be, and he's a good communicator. He's straightforward, he's to the point. So I feel like communication is a really strong message to you. Um, these lovers, this is your friends, these are your family, these are your lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but I feel like um, don't lose patience with them or with yourself, and really. The biggest solution to these obstacles is not to um, be reactive, but to be logical and think before you speak. Make the choice. So I also feel like there's something that you don't see coming. So when there's a surprise that comes your way from these people, don't be the don't be the king of swords in reverse and be too harsh. <laughs> be the king of swords upright. Be smart about it. Be logical about it. Don't overreact and take the time to react because I do feel like there's something that's coming that you don't see. It's from a family or a love a love. Um, there's something coming that you don't see and you might react to it. Um, make you make make you a little defensive. So I feel like the biggest obstacle is not to be defensive and to know that you can overcome that. So let's get into the bottom of this Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Sagittarius's career. What do you want to say? Can you provide some clarity on that? Talk to us about that. Five of Pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse. Oh, that's not in reverse. Sorry, the Five of Pentacles, the world in reverse, and strength in reverse. Um... So we have both the Wheel of Fortune and the, the world in reverse for 2022. I feel like um, there's something coming to an end because then I feel like whatever this conflict is, you have really felt left out and you're going to feel left out. Um, it's going to take you a lot of strength. And I feel like this, this career, this job, this thing, it's really a big focus of yourself. It's your weakness too. You have a loyalty to it. Um, I want to see if this deck has anything else to say about that. So why does Sagittarius feel left out? Why is this world and why are they both in reverse? Like, what is this? What do you want to say about this for 2022? Tower. The Tower and the Knight of Cups. Um, oh, Let's see what's on the bottom. The moon in reverse. Sag, there's some, there's some secrets. You don't see something coming and damn. Um, there's so, and it's, it's going to be emotional. I'm just being drawn to all that water spraying everywhere. So this is a tower. This is unexpected. And you don't feel like this is in your favor, but yet you move forward from it. So it's just a setback here. And I feel like it's at the beginning of the year. 
Um, but remember how it ends. Just remember how it ends. <laughs> Um, you don't see this. We have the three of wands in reverse and we got the tower and the moon in reverse is like secrets coming out, the truth being exposed. Um, so there's some kind of, and it's unexpected. It's going to be a big change. It's going to, um, you're going to be in your emotions. And we see that here with the king of pentacles. It's going to take away some of your stability here. Um, but remember we have the six of swords. Where was, there's the six of swords again. So what you're going through is definitely a huge test in so many ways, um, but it's going to be unexpected, Sad, you're not going to see it, and remember, and that's why this reading is being, don't be overreactive, be the king of swords, so take the time to step back, take a, take a nap, take a breather um, before reacting, because it definitely has to do with your family, and um, maybe in some way, so um, your family home, so maybe losing the job, all of a sudden you're struggling to pay your mortgage or the people that depend on you are having a hard time or there's whatever this is that you don't see coming. There's a big emphasis on your money in the beginning of the year here. So um, do, what do they want to say? What do you want to clarify about the eight of sword or the eight of wands? Because there's everything is moving forward. The, the chariot. So Sag, uh, shit, right? I'm so glad that came out. It's just temporary because look how it ends. The chariot is success. It is moving forward with success. So this is your finance outlook. So it, it's amazing and it's great, but there is in the beginning of the year a little bit of a setback here as far as career goes and your money, but it ends amazing. So you will get your victory. You will get your success. So that is, um, that's a relief. <laughs> so let's find out. Um, six of swords. What is this for love? What is the six of swords for Sag this year in 2022? What do you want to say? The magician. I've seen you magician. There it is. What is with him? The four of wands in reverse. You're manifesting something that you've never had before. I feel like you have been through it when it comes to love here, Sag, and it's been rocky. It hasn't been, you know, one big happy family we have the four of wands twice in reverse so there's definitely been rockiness where it comes to that to home but the great thing is 2022 that changes because you're the magician you've learned you've developed all the skills he's a strong communicator which i feel is also going to benefit you so he's manifesting his soulmate and then the past you weren't you were um you definitely weren't it's been rocky but you've passed this test. So if you had to go through some inner spiritual work, if you had to take some risks, whatever it was that you had to do, you've done it, Saj. And this is going to be the year for you. I see love coming through. Do you want to say anything about this person that's coming towards Saj or this person Saj is going towards themselves? Do you want to say anything? Talk to us. These cards are slippery. Sorry, I have to like tap them down all the time. Strength could be a Leo. Uh, could be happening this summer. <laughs> so um, it's going to take a lot of courage, I feel, especially if you've been single for a little bit or if you've um, been burned. I feel like it's going to be some courage to make yourself vulnerable. And But I also feel like they're going to be very strong. There's going to be a lot of passion and they're not going to hold back when it comes to you, which is going to make that easier for you to be able to open up and to move forward and to make yourself vulnerable. So definitely could be a Leo or somebody that has a lot of Leo in their chart. So let's get some Oracle messages, Sag. I hope you like your reading. Again, if you do, don't hesitate um, to like, comment, subscribe if you want to get entered into that uh, contest. So Sag, what do you have to surrender to? What is, oh, we got a couple here. Surrender unhealthy relationships, yo. And I feel like you're moving past that too. So let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And surrender your comparison with others. <laughs> Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and powers. What other people do, think, or say really doesn't affect you. And, um, you know, we're all on our own journey. So focus on you. And the energy oracle message for Sagittarius, please. What would you like to say? Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. There's that third eye. Woman holding a coin. Wow, okay. So I feel like... Um, First of all, the six chakra, chakra Archangel Metatron is telling you that this year is going to be, he's, he's with you. Your third eye is really going to be blossoming. You're really going to be blooming. You're really going to be connecting. And I feel like this connection is going to guide you to a feminine. And there's the black cat again. 
dang, like she could be a Sag or another fire sign, but th this is all divinely orchestrated Sag, the black cat and the divine twice here. So this is what you're supposed to go through. I know it sounds, I know it's annoying me because I'm a Sag, don't worry, I get it. But I feel like it's gonna guide you to this woman or this feminine energy, a very wealthy woman who is gonna help you. So maybe she'll be a partner. Maybe she'll just give you some advice. Maybe if you're looking for a loan for a business opportunity, she's the banker. But whatever that is, there's gonna be a wealthy woman a woman of material wealth um, coming to help you and help you along your path. And I feel like your intuition is going to guide you to this person and they're going to help. Um, and maybe you don't see her coming too because I keep I looked right at that three of wands. So maybe you don't see her coming. She could be another fire sign like you. It could be towards, could be around here that you encounter this woman. But in either way, keep an eye out for her. So let's get your romance oracle because I do want to include that. And then we'll get your yes or no question and close out your reading, Sag. And happy new year. Today is... January 1st, I hope you guys are feeling good. <laughs> Flirt, like, right? But we don't have to worry about that. We're sad. <laughs> yeah. But extend your lighthearted energy to others. So have fun, because you never know who you're going to meet, right? But I don't think that's a problem for us. You know this. All right, let's get your yes or no question. So what is the answer for Sag, please? Yes or no? Uh, the answer for you is yes. So thank you for so much for watching. I hope you have a great year. Until next time.